32-year-old North Yorkshire Police Constable Christopher Hudson has been facing trial this week at Leeds Crown Court after being accused of yet another case of police sexual impropriety. Now, I don't mean he is accused of another sexual impropriety, but rather another sexual impropriety allegation towards a serving police constable. Hudson is alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman in a car park of Stonefall Cemetery on Weatherby Road in Harrogate on the 8th of February 2021. A real classy move, that one. I certainly can't imagine why she wasn't interested. At the start of the trial this week, the prosecutor, Gerald Hendren, told the court that Hudson drove the woman to the cemetery car park in a police van, which, upon arrival, he had attempted to persuade the woman into having sex with him in the back of the van. However, it said that this wasn't the first time he had tried his luck with the same woman, as he had tried his luck just five days earlier. Gerald Hendren told the court that once the pair arrived at the cemetery, Hudson tried to set the mood by playing Michael Jackson's Thriller. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean some R&B on his mobile phone, which the woman said was weird. Hudson is alleged to have told the woman that having sex in the back of a police van is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Although I have to say it's not really. Let's face it, many people who get put in the back of a police van or even have interactions with the police generally end up being fucked. The woman is alleged to have said that there was nothing he could do to persuade me and refuse repeatedly, during which it's claimed that Hudson touched her in a thigh, leaving the woman feeling sick, or so she said. He is also said to have taken the woman's hand and placed it on his own groin, along with stroking the back of her neck, before putting his hand behind her head and trying to pull her in for a kiss. Hudson was on duty at the time of the alleged offence, which he denies, although jurors were told that despite the woman saying she did not want to have sex with Hudson, he drove then to two more locations, including the Traveller's Rest pub. The woman is alleged to have told Hudson, I don't want to do that. I'm not comfortable with it. Adding, he said it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and the amount of time we sat there chatting, we could have done it by now. I said, there's nothing you can do that will persuade me this is a good idea. The woman said Mr. Hudson told her, this is my style, this is how I do things. She described Hudson as sex mad and absolutely crazy before that point. She told him that, uh, she said she had told him it was like he had tunnel vision. In her interview, she told police, I don't think it dawned on me how much the level of vulnerability I was in. It scared me a lot. She added, she didn't know how many times she had told Mr. Hudson she did not want to have sex. When Hudson was interviewed in March 2021, he gave a pre-prepared statement. In that statement, he said that they were in the cemetery and the woman said she had never kissed a black man before. Prosecutor Gerald Hendren said the statement said, he said she could do and she moved over and kissed him. Now I'm guessing this third person view was because the statement was written by a brief and not by him himself. As I've said, the trial is ongoing and Hudson has denied any non-consensual contact and the charge of sexual assault. I will of course keep an eye out for further information and bring that to you as soon as I can.